Hello everyone, this is Nick, and today I am doing a review on the Nerf Deploy. Or, how about I start that on the Nerf De Deploy. There we go, I sort of messed it up, but, you know. The Deploy CS6 is a Nerf Blaster that was released in 2008 or 2007 that is pump-action, spring-powered, side-fed, side or top-fed Nerf Blaster better on the top because if you do that it's better on the top to look through because if you do that you can actually look through the sights there we go and there's a little notch top notch up here so it came with orange uh, regular darts basically elite darts and uh, has this own little stock Although the stock is pretty uncomfortable, and the barrel part doesn't really hold a barrel really well. And, um, you know, it's terrible at range, and this is called the flashlight mode, even though it's a terrible light. And, um, it came with a six-start magazine, and... It's actually, the handle actually isn't that com well, it is pretty comfortable. The trigger, I wish they could have chosen a better one. And the pump handle does actually feel pretty good to pump back like that. It feels, it doesn't feel that bad. And it looks pretty cool from, from uh, the angle from forward. So it's not really meant to have the light when you're trying to shoot at someone. I don't know if I'm blinding anyone, but you know, it's probably one of the worst nerf blasters ever to exist. I know some YouTubers call it that, but I actually don't think it's really bad. I do think it's pretty cool, but I don't think it's that, that bad. Anyways, I'll do a test firing in a little bit after I talk about some stuff. So the first thing is, is that... I really don't recommend putting anything up here on this tactical rail because uh, things don't really, first of all, things don't really stay up there. Like, um, if you give me a moment, I'll get a stock. Well, I mean, not a stock, a scope. And as you can see, I'll put the scope on first. It's hard to put it on like this. There. The scope wiggles and wobbles like that it just goes so easily and it can fall off pretty easily just by knocking it forward like some other youtubers show with nerf guns these just a slight nudge and it falls off so i really don't recommend putting attachments onto this even light attachments can fall off but one of the things that I don't like about this Nerf gun is front attachments. Like, here I'll get the recon barrel, which, uh, spoiler for another review that we're doing. The recon barrel is pretty amazing, but the, it doesn't really, like, with barrels on the deploy, it will turn, but it will stop halfway, and it, you, once you, you, like, you won't be able to click it in fully. There we go. It takes a lot of force to click it in, and because of that, it takes a lot of force to pull it back out. And because it stops halfway, it that causes a dart from for probably it probably uh, will shoot to the side, and it will just ruin the way this fires. Anyway, besides everything, like the stock is meant for a kid, the handle is meant for a kid, and uh, the sight is meant for a kid. Everything here is just meant for like a little kid instead of an adult or a teen because it's not really supposed to do that because the stock is so small. Here I'll load the Nerf Blaster for everyone to see. It's so difficult to load it in. Okay, there, and I'll fire it from like a side view, sort of. And 
and I'll fire it from the scope. Okay, I think it's pretty impossible. I'll try left-handed. Left-handed so difficult. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you guys saw that. But... Oh, I still have one more dart. So anyways, this Nerf Lester really just falls off compared to the other M-Strike Nerf guns. I know the Maverick was pretty bad, but that was just visual error. The, Ma the Nerf Maverick is pretty good. And, you know, this Nerf Lester just falls off. And it's not really that great. But, hey, at least... Ow. At least this was the only uh, Nerf gun to come out that had this feature. So, because of this, it makes it unique into its own terribleness. And because Nerf knows people hate this Nerf gun, it won't come out. Because Nerf knows now that uh, people hate this Nerf gun, um, they won't release anything like it. I mean, they have, but that was for a different series and for another reason. But I'm glad that they never came out with a newer version of this. And I'm glad this is stuck in 2008. So, yeah. Everyone, uh, thanks for watching. And comment down below what Nerf gun do you want me to review next. This is kind of like the sniper mode. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, just tell me what Nerf gun should I uh, review next next time. Anyways, see you guys later. Goodbye.